in this video we will try to understand how the signal inversion pneumatic circuit works. So let us see the various components which are used in this circuit. So as you can see we are having the animation which is used to simulate the given pneumatic circuit. So let us first try to understand with the help of the animation how this circuit will work. Various components which are used in this pneumatic circuit they are shown here. So we are having the direction control valves then the single acting pneumatic cylinder to achieve this signal inversion pneumatic circuit. Now as you can see there are two direction control valves which we are using in this circuit and those are used to operate the single acting pneumatic cylinder. So the various components which are used over here are the air from the compressor first it will enter into the FRL unit that is the filter regulator and lubricator unit then it will enter into the manually operated spring offset three way two position direction control all three way are P R and one that is pressure then reservoir and one is the uh, port which is going to the cylinder or the wall. So this is the pressure port this is the reservoir port and one is the port which is connected to the another component of the system. Then this is the pilot line. So pilot line means this particular wall is used to operate this wall another direction control wall and then this direction control wall will in turn will operate the single acting cylinder. The meaning of signal inversion pneumatic circuit is that when this is in on position this wall will be off in the off position and when this is in the off position this will be in the on position that is the meaning of signal inversion pneumatic circuit. So let us see what will happen in this particular first position. So air from the compressor it will enter into the filter regulator and lubricator unit and from that it will enter over here in the pressure port and as it is blocked nothing will happen. So as this is in the off position now you can see this pilot line is not operated but now you can see over here that the pressure port P is now connected over here and from port 1 the air will enter into the port 2 and it will act on this side of the cylinder side of the piston and will cause the forward motion of the piston. So we can say that when this position when this wall is in the off position this is in the on position this is working. When this is not working or this is not producing any signal the signal will be produced from this particular uh, P port that is nothing but the port which is coming from the compressor. So high pressure air compressed air will be entering from this side will enter into the port 1 from port 1 to port 2 and will act over here on the cylinder side and will cause the forward motion of the piston. So this is the meaning of the signal inversion. So let us see with the help of animation how this will work. So these are the two walls. So we can say that when wall V1 is on V2 is off and when wall V2 is off this will be on. So just now we have seen that from port P it will go to the port 1 air will go high pressure air will go to the port 1 from port 1 to port 2 and then it will cause the forward motion of the piston compressing the spring. So that is our first position. Now in the second position when this manually operated spring offset three way two position direction control wall is offset that is when uh, direction control wall is operated then if you get this left envelope mode over here when you press this button then what will happen? So as you can see the pilot line will be now in operation and you will get the left envelope mode and from the left envelope mode the retraction of the cylinder will be now done and the port 2 is now connected with the port 1 and air from this side will go to the atmosphere. So in this way this signal inversion pneumatic circuit works. Thank you very much for watching.